So we've talked about turnover and a little, gotten a little more in depth in terms of uh, looking at good or acceptable turnover and bad or unacceptable turnover. And then when we look at bad or unacceptable turnover, looking at the three primary reasons for that, which are bad hires, employee engagement, and compensation. Um, I want to dig in a little deeper into an assertion that I have made in the past, and that is that if you address the bad hire problem, you actually have an impact on empl employee engagement, that you can improve your level of employee engagement. And then the flip side of that argument is that when you don't address the bad hire problem, it has an impact, a negative impact on employee engagement. So think about this. If you've got a team of folks who have been with you for a while, and you continue to make hires that turn over in a short period of time, that means that the members of their team are turning over quickly. It means they're having to train new people every few months. It means that they don't have stability in terms of their team and who they can count on to help them excel in their work. And it can be a, a real detriment to employee morale when you're having such a churn uh, in the people that you work with on a day-to-day -day basis. So when we look at how to create an engaged employee base, I think we have to start with hiring the right people in the first place. Because when we get that right, then we start to build lasting teams. And even though those teams may not stay with us for 5 or 10 or 20 years, um, they're going to stay with us for a much longer period of time and help to build the culture that we're trying to build to create a lasting, engaged employee base.